our lesson about quadratic inequalities. Sa previous video ko, pinakita ko sa inyo kung papaano mag-solve ng quadratic inequalities. For today, iko-continue uli natin at magbibigay tayo ulit ng isa pang example. Pero balikan muna natin, ano yung ibig sabihin ng quadratic inequality? It is an inequality that contains a polynomial of degree 2 and can be written with the symbols greater than, less than, greater than, or equal to, or less than, or equal to. Just like quadratic equation, the highest exponent of a quadratic inequality is 2. And instead of using equal sign, it uses the symbols of greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or le less than or equal to. Ito yung mga inequality symbols na tinatawag na ginagamit natin sa ating quadratic inequality. And remember always that it has a highest degree or exponent of now, let's see an example of a quadratic inequality. 7x squared minus 28 is greater than or equal to 0. x squared plus x minus 12 is greater than 0. 2y squared plus 1 is less than or equal to 7y. And 5 is less than x squared minus x. As you can see here, the highest exponent of the given examples is 2 and it uses inequality symbol again not equal sign ngayon paano tayo magsosolve ng quadratic inequalities we have example number 2 x squared plus x minus 6 is less than or equal to 0 sa example number 1 ko na pinakita sa last video ko Greater than naman yung ginamit natin doon. Dito, less than or equal to naman yung inequality symbol. Kaya paano natin to isosolve? Number one, we need to express the quadratic inequality as a quadratic equation in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. We will write our inequality into a quadratic equation. Ibig sabihin, um, yung inequality symbol natin na less than or equal to, gagawin lang nating equal sign. Okay, just copy the given. Kaya we have here, x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. After that, we need to find the roots of the given equation. We will use the factoring. So, factor natin to, yung x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Of course, the factors of x squared is x and x. Tapos, yung factors ng negative 6 na kapag in natin ay equal sa positive 1. Ano kayang factor yon? Okay, we have here, i-factor out natin yung x squared. So, we have x and x. And then, factors of negative 6 is 3 and negative 2. Ito yung pinili natin kasi 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Then, 3 plus negative 2 is positive 1. Then, equal to 0. We will equate each factor to 0. We have x plus 3 is equal to 0. x minus 2 is equal to 0. Then solve for our x. Our x here is negative 3 and the other one, x is positive 2. We have now the roots of our equation. Next na gagawin natin, since we already have the roots, is to plot or locate this into our number line. We will locate the numbers found in step 1 on a number line. And the number will be divided into 3 regions. Okay. Ito na yung ating number line. We have negative 3 and positive 2. Nanggaling ang negative 3 and 2 sa ating roots kanina. Roots ng ating quadratic equation. 
bakit shaded yung ating circle? Shaded ang circle natin kasi ang ating inequality symbol ay less than or equal to. Ibig sabihin, ang negative 3 and positive 2, yan, is included as our solution set. Again, kapag ginagamitan ng less than or equal to, ang gagamitin nating circle is shaded. Pero kung wala yan, halimbawa less than lang, open circle or non-shaded yung ating circle. Remember that. Ito yun. We use closed circle for negative 3 and 2 because they are part of the solution set. Kasi nga, less than or equal to. And nakita natin yung tatlong regions. Nahati sa tatlong regions yung ating number line. This is the first region. Ang kasama rito ay yung mga numbers na mababa sa negative 3. Kasama syempre ang negative 3 at yung mga numbers na mababa sa kanya. Pangalawang region natin ay ito. Yung numbers uh, from negative 3 to positive 2. Ayan yung pangalawang region. And yung pangatlo is ito. Yung 2 pataas. Yung numbers na mataas sa 2 and of course included yung 2. Next, choose one number from each region na sa test point. Kukuha tayo ng tig-iisang test point sa kada region. Dito sa first region natin, ang kunin natin is negative 4. Pwede rin naman negative 5 or negative 6. Basta numbers na mababa sa negative 3. But para mas madaling mag-solve, negative 4 yung kunin natin. For our second region... Kukuha din tayo. Ang kunin na natin is 0. Okay, from number uh, number or from negative 3 to positive 2, mas madali kung gagamitin na natin yung 0. Pero pwede rin naman 1 or negative 1. Next, sa pangatlong region naman natin, mga numbers na mataas sa 2 and of course the 2 itself, ang kunin natin na test point dito ay yung number 3. Okay, now we have this uh, three test points. Anong susunod na gagawin natin? Substitute the test point to the original inequality. If it holds true, then the region belongs to the solution set. Otherwise, it is not part of a solution set. Isa substitute natin yung bawat uh, test point na nakuha natin dun sa original inequality. Okay, let's uh, use negative 4, yung unang test point natin, negative 4. Papalitan lang natin yung mga x natin ng negative 4. We have now negative 4 squared plus negative 4 minus 6 is less than or equal to 0. Simplify natin, we have 16 and minus 4 minus 6 is less than or equal to 0. 16 minus 4 minus 6. The answer is 6 is less than or equal to 0. Is it true or false? Is 6 less than or equal to 0? Mm, it is false. Okay, so hindi ibig sabihin yan, kung hindi true yung lumabas, hindi to kasama or part ng ating solution set. Gamitin naman natin yung pangalawang test point. Yung pangalawang test point na kinuha natin is zero. Gamit ulit yung original equation, palitan natin yung mga x ng zero. That's why we have this, zero squared plus zero minus six is less than or equal to zero. And obviously, zero na yan, kaya zero minus 6 is less than or equal to 0. And the answer is negative 6 is less than or equal to 0. Is it true or false? Negative 6 less than or equal to 0? The answer is true. This is true, right? Mababa talaga si negative 6 cases ha? 0. Kaya yung pangalawang region natin ay kasama sa ating solution set. Kasi true yung lumabas. Next, yung pangatlo. True kaya to or false? Ang pangatlong test point is positive 3. Palitan lang din natin yung mga x natin ng 3. 
we have 3 squared plus 3 minus 6 is less than or equal to 0. Simplify. 9 plus 3 minus 6 is less than or equal to 0. What will be the answer? The answer is 6 is less than or equal to 0. Is it true or false? 6 ay mas mababa daw sa 0. True kaya or false? Ano sa palagay mo? Yes, you're correct. This is false. Hindi siya totoo. Kasi hindi naman mas mababa ang 6 sa 0. Actually, mas mataas pa nga. Kaya yung pangatlong region ay false. Now, we can see from the test point that 0 is true. Right? The solution set of inequality. Isa lang ang nag-true, di ba? Naalala nyo? Yung pangalawang test point lang ang nag-true. Yung dalawang region ay parehong false. Ibig sabihin, eh, yun lang ang kasale sa ating solution set. Okay. Ito lang, ayan. Yan lang yung nag-true, yung pangalawang region. This is false. True. Tapos dito, false. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Sabi nga kanina, kung saan yung nag-true, yun lang ang included sa ating solution set. Kaya ibig sabihin, yung mga numbers, simula negative 3 hanggang positive 2, siya lang ang part ng ating solution set. Or values, possible values ng ating x, is yung mga numbers from negative 3, kasali ang negative 3, ah, and pataas hanggang positive 2. Therefore, this is the set notation. We write it into a set notation, x such that negative 3 is less than or equal to x, and x is less than or equal to 2. Double inequality yung ginamit natin. Ano? Less than or equal to dalawa yung ginamit natin. Okay, para makita or maset natin yung boundary ng ating solution set. Okay, pag less than or equal to, ayan, ito yung number line natin. Less than or equal to, makikita nga natin na shaded yung ating circle. Ibig sabihin nga, included yon sa solution set. Pag less than naman, ayan, halos same ng less than or equal to, ang pinagkaiba lang niya, non-shaded or open circle yung ginamit natin. Pag greater than or equal to naman, shaded din, kasi nga may equal to, shaded din, pero makikita nyo yung solution set natin is magkahiwalay. Yun yan. Pag greater than naman, okay, pag greater than, same lang din ng greater than or equal to, anong pinagkaiba nila? Walang shade or open circle yung ginamit natin. Pero, yung kanilang solution set ay separated din. Okay, kailangan natin yung tandaan para hindi tayo malito sa pagsosolve ng quadratic inequalities. Remember this, pag less than or less than or equal to joint or nag-combine yung dalawang point. ba Yung dalawang point natin nag-combine. Pag greater than or equal to o kaya greater than, separated. Ganun, magkalayo sila ng landas. Okay, ganun pag greater than or equal to. Okay, at ang less than natin, ang gagamitin natin ay less than din na inequality symbol at dalawa or double inequality symbol. Kapag naman greater than, dalawang inequality symbol din, pero mapapansin nyo magkaiba. Isang less than at isang greater than. Tapos, emphasize lang natin, close to circle or shaded pag may equal to. Ayan. Ayan o, may mga shade. Ibig sabihin, kasali siya as our solution set. Kapag ka naman, um, less than or greater than, non-shaded or open circle. Okay, tandaan nyo yan. Kasi mahalaga to para hindi kayo mahirapan sa pag-locate sa number line natin.
Ngayon, marunong na kayong mag-solve ng quadratic inequalities. Alam na natin kung paano i-solve yung may greater than and yung may less than. Pag dalilito pa rin kayo, pwede nyo balikan yung mga videos natin. But now it's your turn. Try natin to. x squared minus 6x plus 5 is greater than 0. Kaya-kaya nyo itong isolve. Basta sundin nyo lang yung mga examples na pinakita ko and yung mga procedures or steps na ginawa natin kanina. Pwede nyo ilagay sa comment section natin yung sagot. And for our next lesson, abangan ninyo yung susunod kong topic and it's about problems involving quadratic inequalities. Paano naman natin ito maia-apply in real-life situation? Siyempre, ang quadratic inequalities ay may application din in real life. Kaya, kita-kita ulit tayo next time. Bye-bye!